adding or subtracting measurements, if we're going to follow rules for working with measurements, can be tricky. It's easy to do the addition and subtraction of the measurements. The tricky thing is how we should round our answers. When we're adding or subtracting, we need to round the answer to the same precision as the least precise measurement. Not the accuracy, but the precision of the least precise measurement. Here's an example. We want to find the sum of these three measurements, 20 inches, 27 inches, and 24.3 inches, and we're going to use rules for working with measurements, which means we're going to round it according to the precision of the least precise measurement in this group of measurements. Adding the measurements together, we get 71.3 inches. In order to round this answer to the correct precision, we need to look at what the precisions of each measurement is. So here we have the measurements and the precision of each of these measurements. 20 inches would be 10 inches precision because the last significant digit is in the tens place. Here the last significant digit is in the ones place, so 27 inches has precision 1 inch. 24.3 inches has precision 0 0.1 inch because 3 is the last significant digit here. So here's the precision of each measurement. The least precise measurement is the measurement with the last significant digit in the largest place value. Therefore, the least precise measurement is 20 inches because its last significant digit is in the largest place value, the tens place, right? That's the largest place value of these three. This means we have to round our answer of 71.3 inches to a precision of 10 inches because we have to round it to the same precision as the least precise measurement. So we will round 71.3 inches to, to a 10 inch precision as well. So for 10 inch precision, that's the tens place. So we round this 71.3 inches to the tens place, getting 70 inches.